Port of Valencia, gateway to the world and the stage for the second F1 race this year on Spanish soil. Awaiting the fans is another street circuit, just as spectacular as Monaco, although admittedly without the glamour. At 185 metres, the start-finish straight is shorter than at any other Formula 1 circuit in use this year. The average speed here is over 200 kilometres per hour, and the 5.4 kilometres are pretty demanding on the drivers. They have to turn the steering wheel 25 times, overtaking manoeuvres not included, although here they're somewhat rare. To link the northern and southern parts of the port, the city built a swing bridge, which the Formula One cars have to cross on each lap of the course. One of the critical spots for the drivers, the right-hander after the bridge. The trick here, and the key to a good lap time, is to accelerate as soon as possible. That way you take lots of important momentum with you onto the next and longest flat out section of the circuit. 13 seconds at full throttle along the waterside road at a top speed of over 300. Then comes the hardest braking point. Drivers defy over five times their own body weight here. But it's one of the few opportunities to overtake. Valencia combines extremely high speeds with city flair. Valencia's circuit designers have achieved this combination very well. And the fans love this special Spanish charm. The circuit, 5.4 kilometers long, was conjured up in less than a year because the roads were already there anyway and most of the stands are temporary. Just ahead of the start-finish straight, it's sharp left again and then off onto lap 2 of 57.